بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم اللہ رب ذلنی علما اللہ ربنا آتینا فی الدنیا حسنتا و فی الاخرات حسنتا و انا ذاب النار صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم آمین الحمدللہ رب العالمین Complex Numbers This is the introduction class of Complex Numbers In this lecture I will discuss the basic concepts of Complex Numbers A number of this form is known as Complex Number Find the link of the math website in the description where you can find the soft copies of all the lectures and this lecture as well an important advice hard work always pays off the introduction class of complex numbers what are complex numbers a number of this form is known as complex number where z means complex number and both x and y are real numbers and this iota is an imaginary number and read as iota this small i means iota and its value is under root minus 1 well this x is a real part of this complex number and you can write this as real part of z r e this means real so real part of this complex number z is x whereas its imaginary part i m means imaginary imaginary part of this z is y these are few examples of real numbers if we multiply real numbers with i then these numbers will become imaginary numbers so for imaginary numbers we just need to multiply i with real numbers so these are the examples of a few examples of imaginary numbers comparison between real numbers and complex numbers in real numbers we label horizontal axis uh, with x and vertical with y whereas in complex numbers we label horizontal axis as real axis in short re and vertical axis as imaginary axis in short im in real numbers we represent point by means of dot whereas in complex numbers we represent any point by means a cross we use cross to represent complex numbers on arc and diagram in complex numbers the diagram is known as argon diagram this diagram is known as uh, an argon diagram well in real numbers we use bracket to represent the coordinates of point any point but in complex numbers we do not use bracket we write the number as it is don't use brackets for complex numbers in complex numbers we uh, take same scale on both the axes if we have repeated complex numbers then we use cross and circle on argon diagram to represent repeated complex numbers since z and v both are same so we have to use cross and circle Well, to understand the structure of complex numbers, we must first introduce a new set of numbers, the set of imaginary numbers. I told you, if we multiply any real number with i, then we can get real num imaginary numbers. Well, imaginary numbers are of the form bi or iy, where both b and y are real numbers and i is known as iota and its value is under root minus 1 so if you multiply 2 with i you will get uh, imaginary number 
and i square is minus 1. The imaginary number i is called the unit imaginary number as it has a coefficient of 1. You can read i as iota and it is also called as unit imaginary number because its coefficient is 1. Now how to use i? Well, if we have to evaluate under root minus 9 in complex numbers then we can write minus 9 as under root 9 times minus 1 and we can split the root. So we have under root 9 here and under root minus 1 here and we all know under root minus 1 is i and under root 9 is 3. So under root minus 9 is 3i. So in complex number we have to write under root minus 9 as 3i. What if we have to evaluate under root minus 5? So we can write under root minus 5 as 5 times minus 1 then we can distribute root to both and this will become i. So under root 5i. So the answer of under root minus 5 is under root 5i. Under root minus 18 we can write this as under root 18 times under root minus 1 and this will become 3 root 2i because under root 18 is 3 root 2. You can do this directly if you have understood this concept. You can directly write under root minus 9 is 3i. Well always replace under root minus 1 by i in complex numbers and never replace i by under root minus 1. Never. So under root minus 1 is i, under root minus 3 is under root 3i, under root minus 16 is 4i. Since under root i is, uh, sorry, i is under root minus 1, therefore i square will be minus 1 and i cube, you can write i cube as i square into i and it will be minus 1 times i, so it's minus i because i square is minus 1. Similarly, you can evaluate i power 4, you can write this as i square into i square, so minus 1 into minus 1, so it's 1, it's here. So, this is the way to evaluate higher powers of i.